You know what I mean? There, there was no YouTube video on that. How to be a bad motherfucker. How to weld like a son of a bitch. Yeah, I taught myself everything. Dude, I taught myself how to weld, how to cut my own hair, and how to eat pussy. And that's what <laughs> I've done in my life, alright? You can't get on board with that. You get the fuck out. If you I went ahead and took the inner fender off just because I couldn't get up in there because you can see the inner fender kind of blocks. But how nice is that to be able to remove and get in and be able to work on the car? So not that this is super intrusive or anything, but you know, it's carbon Kevlar. It's a little bit in the way. So I took off the headlight bucket and the inner fender. Then I'm going to go put the hood on because I'm trying to make this. This needs to go to this somehow. So I'm determining if I want it to be like a tube or if that's going to work. And... I couldn't do that with the inner fender and not being able to sneak myself in. So we put the hood on and figure it out if it'll work. Careful! Careful! It's carbon, dude. Be careful with that. I'm drilling carbon, dude. Jeez. Help me out with the hood. Yes. Up on the front. Yes. Good? You got it lined up. It's good enough. So this is what I'm working with here. Trying to see if this fitting will fit underneath the hood or if I need to make a tube that comes out to here like a hard line piece of aluminum and snake the fitting in here. Gotta do some figuring. Let me think about it. On the tank side too, huh? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're trying to you're trying to shoot that gap? Yeah. I see. I yeah. See. And I think I'm pretty sure it'll be it'll be good. I need to open this up anyway. You know open that up anyways, yeah. Yeah, you don't need no. all of that. Got this sorted. This is my new inner baffle piece. Uh, I cut it off here, and this piece goes inside of the catch can, or inside of the oil tank here. Uh, 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 like that. And it sits in this baffle, so it really helps keep the oil out of the port that's going to be running back to the catch can back there. And then I have my fittings here. Boom and boom. For the top. It's going to get welded on here, probably facing backwards with this Dash 20 welded to it. Just like that. And be facing backwards. So now I just got to get this tacked in and then get this fit up how I want it. We got the man here to help me out. I was, I was struggling a little bit on the on the severity of the cut because you can see it's in there. Let me get some light on this thing. Oh yeah. We're in a tight spot. Yeah, not a lot of room in there, but it's perfect. She's real tight. Okay. So we got this thing ready to go. You can see this pretty crazy notch. That's what fits the oil tank. This is a Dash 20 AN bung. This is a piece of 90 aluminum. I'm gonna weld that up. Got it welded. There's definitely a little gappy here. And I definitely didn't weld the best. I'm definitely a little rusty too, but she's on there. Mm -hmm. These ugly clamps, we're gonna get some new ones. Only got one for right now. There it is. Just nut and bolt it. Ooh, cabron. Jiggly. Maybe I'll... We'll think about tie. when it's connected, yeah. Don't zip tie it, there's a tie, like down here or something. But then you also got the... Honestly, it's just the, it's the, it's not even this, it's like the whole firewall, right? Yeah. One wobbly boy. You could probably use like some washers or something. 
Well, I think once you have the like the hose connected and everything the and line. the inner f fender well, yeah. the line. So we got the catch can mounted up. And then got a 90 degree and fitting. Dash. Oh, it's dash 20. Very running the fitting through here. Oh god. Come on. So this is a Mako, but air down. I'm gonna go through the inner fender well right there. Trimmed it to fit it. And then as of right now, I just trim this that way the hose can go. That way it can just go down. It's not long enough, but when we get a new hose, it'll be good. I'm gonna clean this up and paint it, put some edge molding on it, and it should be good to go. So today we're gonna be working on the demo car. Had a full list, sand trout, sand wiring, oil chain. Got to get a sound bar for the for the road trip, uh, an inverter. And then gotta do alignment, tires. Let's see what else. I get a bunch of extra shit. As of right now, I'm gonna pull out the radiator. We're gonna build a radiator shroud because last weekend when we were at Willows, the fans fell on us. Got two spalls. I think they're. They're 11 inch. Uh, we did get the wrong part, or the wrong fan. So we're gonna we gotta send them back and then get the right ones. But it should be the same size for when we make the shroud. All right. All right, radiator's out. Look at that CNI radiator. It's kind of dirty. Gonna clean her up. <coughs> and then get those fans, get those fans on. Dave. Jesus. More tires. Probably just this set. What up, man? I'm gonna wash this thing out. Get it all clean. It's cold outside. Oh my god. For me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what you doing? Cutting shit. Hey. My concentrating face? Like this. Look like you're pooping. <laughs> All right, just cut out the plate. All right, here. Do the bend marks. Don, Don marked out where it should be bent. 
And then we're also doing the bend because it'll set the shroud up. You know, they'll be doing like an inch off. And that way the air, the fans can pull the air, not from just where they're mounted, but not where they're just mounted, but like they can get the full, the full radiator. Damn near. Right. Just cap the sides, huh? Yeah. Just make it offset to this side a little bit. And then now we've got room for the petcock once the sides are on. Yeah, yeah. And uh I'm take the hose on. I wonder if we should just fit it on the bottom side and then do an edge well with it uh, you know not corner to corner, but with it flush. Mm -hmm. And then weld on the inside? Yeah. Well yeah, we can still weld on the outside, but just not have them, you know, have them offset. Yeah. For this, after this, make some tabs. So slide onto there, and one tab here, and bolt on. Just got done holding up the shroud. You know, the welds aren't the prettiest. I don't really TIG very often, to be honest. I and mean, that one's nice, it's decent. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I am back to working on this car because we are prepping it and getting it ready for this really, really cool, kind of like a rally, uh, what'd you call it? A road trip. Road trip, drifting road trip. I'll talk about that a little bit later, but either way, this car is about to do a lot of miles and we gotta get it ready. And since the test days or the, the training day over at Willow Springs, it's needed some work like the fan. So we got Tino over there, he's been busting ass on the fan shroud and now I'm gonna do the wiring. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I'm not the best at wiring. Like I'm really, really not, but I can, I can do it. Lying. I can do it. I can lying. figure it out. One thing about wiring, you never want other people to know that you know how to do wiring because then they need your help doing wiring. So I don't know how to do wiring for the record, but I'm going to wire this ball fan relay in. Um, pretty cool. It gives you an extra long pigtail. And I have the stock car wiring here. That was PWM pulse width modulation. So I'm gonna get rid of that and just have it be a ground trigger to turn the fan on. Uh, so I'll have to have Jay log into the ECU and change that on the ECU side. But till then, I'm just gonna do some wiring. So last weekend when we were at Willows, Matt fucking blew out his headlight. He transitioned behind Rome and blew her out. So I'll take this thing off and replace the lens. So I forgot to be recording, but uh, I'm in the middle of putting the headlight back together. So I got the old lens off, and I got the new lens here. Just put the insides in. Soil. High performance engine oil. I'm gonna put the. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, uh, uh. Do an oil change on the on the Corvette.
I am absolutely terrible at this whole talking to a camera thing. Oh no, don't. Just want to wet the, the seal of it. Here we go. Fresh filter. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Alright. I've already used five bottles. I just gotta do a little bit of the sixth one just to top it off. Oh shit, what an idiot. Toy just missed it. Cool. Oh, and then over here we got the correct fans. Finally. Sh my fan showed up, fortunately, the correct ones, because the first ones they sent me were the wrong ones. It was in the right box, but the wrong fan. It was, it was just a whole thing. But these are the right ones. They're good. Uh, these are the big motor ones and not the, the curved blades there. That's, the, that's what you want there from Spa. So I just went and marked it with the Sharpie. Boom. With my dots on both of them. So I am going to cut out just inside of this because right because that's the outside diameter of here I'm gonna cut just inside of this drill my holes drop in some rib nuts And then it should be good to go drop on the car and I can finish up the wiring I only have one of these plugs the other one's showing up tomorrow. So I'll get to that as soon as it shows up. Let's get cutting So I'm part way done cutting the holes out you can see I drilled a hole here and a hole here and I'm using my trusty old Bosch jigsaw i've cut almost all the way around I just have a little bit more to go so i'll cut that one out and then i'll cut the other one out but now that i have all the holes drilled i need to drill my pilot holes for the riv nuts got my riv nut tool and i got my marks for all of the bolts to hold the fan on so i just gotta go ahead and drill it Check that out. Rev nut holes all lined up. You can see where I cut it, just about right. Pretty solid. I'm just going to wipe the Sharpie marks off, clean up some of this where Tino left sharp edges. You know better, kid. You know better. And get ready to set it on the car. Oh yeah. So I got the radiator in, the fans mostly wired up, and Jay came over so that he can dial in the strategy, because there is a, you know, when it comes on, when it comes off, if it's PWM, if it's not. So it took a little bit of messing around, and honestly, I thought that he was screwing up, but it's because I didn't put the fuse in. Forgot the fuse. So, uh, <laughs> it's good now, though. Good now. <laughs> 